Good morning, everyone. I was thinking actually this Sunday about some of the best business advice I ever heard. And it was about how to go through work and a project and, and thinking, thinking something through. And what it is is that you should always try to go through the process of going from simplistic to complex to simple. And the, the, what that means in general is that you start with a simplistic idea and a simplistic understanding of an idea. It's usually marked by the idea of like, well, what if we could just fill in the blank? But what if we could just is never as simple as it sounds? Well, what if we could just, you know, end world hunger? What if we could just, these are complex things. And even in a, even running an event or doing something in the workplace can be really complex. There are a lot of uh, logistics and things behind it that you've got to work through. So you want to take that simplistic concept, work through all of the complexities and the messiness and all of the, the complex. And then you always want to be able to arrive at simple. So you start off saying, well, what if we could just run this event? Well, you know, what does it take to rent the space? And are we going to have food? Well, who's going to come? Who's invited? What are we doing? How are we, how are we getting that message out? There's all these complexities, and that could go on for, for a long time, but you get the idea. But you never want to end in that complexity. You're not really done until you can get back to the simple, the simple of we're doing this at this time for these people. And it's simple. And the reason I was thinking about it is I, I've had this theory for a while that all we're really doing is, is chasing Jesus loves me. If you're like me and you grew up going to church in Sunday school, and then really even to some degree if you didn't, when we're four years old or whatever it is, we learn the song, Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Uh, little ones to him belong, for they are weak and he is strong. And so you get this understanding at four years old or however old you might have been that Jesus loves me. It's this simplistic idea. And then life gets complicated. That it's just messy and there's all this, this deconstruction and pain in the, in the process of that. But we're always coming back to the simple of, well, Jesus loves me. And as much as I understood that when I was four years old, I, I really am no deeper than still that Jesus loves me. I just understand what that means differently. And I, when I was thinking about it from Sunday, it was the idea of, you know, having a child and, and from what Russ was talking about, having a child and, uh, and becoming more of the dad that you became that day. The, this, the child becoming more of the person that you love them from, as, from the day they're born as they, as they grow older. Uh, that process of learning that Jesus loves me and my understanding of it is exponentially deeper than it was when I was a child or when I was 18 or when I was 23 or or even last year but Jesus loves me is still all I'm really chasing and and so I say that not as some big deep idea but just as a reminder that sometimes in that complexity we forget that it's still Jesus loves me. It just means something different. And it'll mean something different tomorrow. And I hope that when I'm 80, 90 years old, God willing, if I get there, that it'll still be Jesus loves me. I hope that's a solid reminder for you this morning, whatever your complexity is, whatever's going on in your life, that Jesus loves you. This I know. And that you're able to find your way back to that simple. Have a good morning.